Welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you how to appeal for your Google business uh, suspension. For example, as you can see here, your business is not visible to customers. Your access has been suspended because this profile doesn't follow the guidelines. Edit your business info and learn how to regain access. And when you click on learn more, then it will take you here, then ask you explain You can see more here. Request for business profile reinstatement. Before you do this, make sure that your profile follows the business guidelines. To avoid delays, only submit one reinstatement request per account. Now, you have to come back. You see, the main reason why this account has been suspended is because the owner has created so many of them which is for the same business. And it is against Google uh, policies for you to have many Google business accounts for one business. That is why the business was suspended. So one of the things I have to do is to first of all, delete all those that are not the correct business and then leave one. So I'm deleting this, I'm deleting this one. This is the actual correct one. So I'm leaving that. And the rest I have deleted. I'm, I'm, I think I'm deleting them right away. So we have removed business, temporarily closed, permanently closed. Temporarily closed means that your business currently is not open or available for um, to customers. That is the meaning of the temporarily closed. Now, uh, if it is not open to customers, you don't want people to be searching for you and be coming to your location when you are not there. Then permanently closed means that that business, you have closed it, is no longer available. But this is the option I want. Remove means that I don't want those ones to be on, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, Google My Business. They are not the correct ones. So you see, remove says businesses. If you remove business from your account, some business information, name, address will still appear on Google Map Search and, and elsewhere on Google. Um, any google business profile content website post photos you publish for the business will be deleted associated adverse ads will become inactive the business will be removed for anyone else who manages them data for remove businesses can be recovered if a business is closed you should first mark it as permanently closed before removing it okay so um let me just come back and then delete them one at a time. Good. So four locations have been removed. It's left with the last one, which is the actual correct one. So um, going to appeal for that one to be reinstated. So I had to temporarily stop and get some of my documents ready, and then continue. But I'm 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 good to go now. And one of the documents you may need to have is to have your business registration document now so here you will click on request reinstatement request reinstatement so let me go back and let you get the procedure again when you come back to your business profile you click on manage profile it will bring you here and let you know that your business is suspended uh, because it doesn't follow the guidelines so when you click on learn more it will bring you to this particular place so when you click here Learn more, it brings you here, very good. It brings you to this page. So you will now click on request form, request reinstatement form, okay? So when you click on request reinstatement form, yeah, so you're here, they will ask you Google business profile, local business reinstatement request. Did you already submit a reinstatement request for this business profile? Learn how to use the reinstatement form. So. If you did not, you click no. I didn't. 
So are you the official representative of the company organization or account? Then you click yes. Does your business profile comply with the Google business profile guidelines? So if you don't know, you have to click here and then learn what are the guidelines they're talking about. Pro, um, if your business either has a physical location that customers can visit travel or travels to customers where they are, you can create a business profile. Make sure that your business profile won't be suspended. And we, we require that you avoid prohibited content behavior. And these policies apply to all businesses. So you take time and then read everything here to make sure that you are following the guidelines. Okay, so you come back. So you click on yes. Then they will ask, is your business permanently located at the address or does it permanently service the area shown on your profile? Yes. Have you entered an accurate street address or service area for your business? We don't accept addresses at PO boxes or mail receiving agencies. Yes. Does your business operate in a service area? In other words, does your business model require you or an authorized representative of the business to travel to the customer's location? Require or an authorized representative of the business to travel to the customer's location? No. Let's continue. Do you have multiple profiles for the same location? No. So when you um fail all those um when you fail all those details, then you'll be asked to put your name. So you just put the name, then the official email address used to manage your business, you select what is your relationship to the business. You own this business, so you indicate that if you're the owner or if you're an employee or whatsoever. Then it says the information you provide help us direct your question. In case of account suspension, please add the details of any one business managed under the account. In the case of a single business suspension, please add the details about the suspended business. Okay, so we are adding the details for the account suspension. What is the name of the business? What is the address of or service area of your business? So you copy your address and put it there. What is your business profile ID? Okay, so in order to discover the business profile ID, you click on this, open it. It says advanced profile settings from Google search. You can update many advanced settings for your business. Let's see here, um, available settings, business profile ID. You can share this ID with Google support by phone, chat, email, or other channels, Google assistant calls, and then all that. So. Um, let's go to the business profile. Yeah. In fact, we have to just come here, business.google.com slash. Okay, so to get the profile ID, it is in the settings. So sometimes if you are not able to locate it from the settings, you come and type my business. You may get something like what I'm seeing here. Okay. So this is the business that I'm looking for. So um, let me just click on it. There's a view profile. So you click on view profile. Very good. Very good. So you get something like this. And then, so you see three dots here. You see your business is not visible on Google and all that. Click three dots here. You see um, business profile settings. So you click on that. Okay, so you see, go to advanced settings. You see advanced settings. So you go to the advanced settings. So you can see copy ID, profile ID. So this is the ID that you need. Then you come back. So the business profile ID is here. Then they will ask, um, please provide a phone number we can call to reach you. Okay, so... We put a phone number. Then they said 
please provide additional context for why you believe your account should be reinstated and any action you, you have taken on the listing. The listing. So they are asking us or they are asking me to provide the reason why I think this business should be reinstated. So this is what I said. About two weeks ago, I noticed that my business profile wasn't showing on Google search. So I investigated and realized my business profile has been suspended and I don't know why. My business is a guest house and I do real or legitimate business. I read all the Google naming guidelines as stipulated at. Then I kept the link to the naming guidelines. And I am extra sure I didn't violate any Google's policies. But if I made any mistake without knowing, please forgive me and reinstate my business profile because I don't have any intention to violate Google's policies. So this is exactly what I said. So please attach copies of the below mentioned documents to help our team evaluate your reinstatement request. Avoid sending sensitive business documents. You only need to submit one of the following. One, your business registration license, displaying the business name and address. That matches the listing you are appealing for. Accepted documents include official business registration, business license, or tax certificate. The second one is a utility bill displaying the same business name and address at your registration or license. Utilities may include any of the following, electricity, phone, gas, water, sewage, trash, recycling, and then TV and internet. So uh, basically, you have to get a certificate of incorporation. Then <clears throat> click on upload. I have attached. Then they are asking, are you requesting reinstatement for 10 or more locations? No. So that is it. So after that, what I just need to do is to submit it. Your email has been sent. So reinstatement request received. Please know that you will not receive an email confirmation. Um, our team will next contact you as soon as we have reviewed your appeal for reinstatement. So within, um, normally, they may not give specific guidelines as to a time timeline as to how long it will take, um, but within a week or 48 hours, check within 48 hours. If after 48 hours, you haven't got a response, expect, keep checking within a week, you'll get a response. If you don't get a response, you can come back and contact them and ask them to check what is happening and they'll get you a response. If you follow this procedure, you'll be able to reinstate your restricted business profile on Google. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell and like this video for more other powerful videos like this. Thank you and bye-bye.